Here we'll take a look at how the linearization is done so that you get a set of linearized algebraic equations uh, from the set of nonlinear algebraic equations. I will look at one particular term, u1 squared, which is the square of the velocity there, the u velocity there, and we got that when we wrote the momentum flux through that boundary. u at any location I can split into a guess value plus a correction. So that's a guess. That's a correction. And if I had a function of u, I can write that as function of u guess plus the correction and expand that in a Taylor series. So I'll get f of u guess plus delta u times f prime of u evaluated using the guess. So that's nothing but the derivative of f with respect to u plus delta u squared over 2, the second derivative of f with respect to u, and again evaluated using the guess, plus higher order terms. We are interested in the case here where f of u is u squared. So we look at the case where f of u is equal to u squared and f of u guess is just going to be, so it's just going to be that evaluated using the guess. f prime of u is the derivative of that with respect to u, so that's 2u and f prime of u evaluated using the guess is just 2 u guess. If I put these back into the Taylor series expansion, I will get this. I'll get f of u is u squared, so u squared will be f of u guess, u guess squared, plus the correction, times f prime of u guess, um, that's 2 u guess, and then I will neglect this term, so I'll, I get a linearization error. Now this error becomes small as my guess tends towards the true solution and the correction becomes smaller and smaller. So I have to iterate to drive my guess to the true solution so that the correction becomes negligible and that's where the iterative process comes in. This is the Newton's method. It's called the Newton's method. It's also called the Newton-Raphson method. And it's essentially the procedure used for linearization in the finite element case, which we talked about when we talked about that bolted flange.